Luke 3, 16. He says, John answered saying to all, Indeed, I indeed baptize you with water, but the mighty one that is coming, whose sandals I'm not worthy to strap, to, uh, to strap or to loose, he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. So you can have the Holy Spirit and not have fire. We are going to pray that you are going to receive the fire dimension. Say the fire dimension. Talk to me. Say the fire dimension. Say Holy Spirit, this morning I connect with the fire grace, with the fire anointing. Baptize me with fire. I've been baptized with water. I've been baptized with the Holy Spirit. Now I want the fire dimension as I pray now. In the Holy Ghost, with my hands stretched towards the altar of fire, I connect to fire. Stretch your hands and pray at the top of your voice. 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 Yes, at the top of your voice, fire. Hallelujah. We are dealing with the gates of destiny. Maybe let me help you to understand. When you are at the gates of destiny, there's a lot of drama. So it is important that you realize where you are. If you realize the time, the season, the positioning, you'll be vigilant. I want you to be vigilant because a lot of you have been praying and pushing for years. And it's all been leading up to this moment. Are you listening? And when I would have healed Israel, the iniquity of Ephraim was brought up. That means at the time of breakthrough, the enemy brings up your issues. Hello. In fact, the parable of the tares and Israel, let them grow up together. Then at the time of harvest, he says, then you will begin to, you'll be able to remove the tares. There are some things that, you know, you say, why does God allow this to happen? Or why does he not just remove it? Because your God is saying, when wheat and tares are growing up, they look the same. So if you remove the tears before it is time, you might remove wheat when you think it is tears. Are you hearing me? It's time for God to uproot certain things from your life. Allow him. Allow him. Because those things are not allowed inside the gate. There are habits that are not allowed inside the gates. There are sicknesses not allowed inside the gates. There's bondage not allowed inside the gates. So today we are just going to release fire at the gate. Fire purifies. Fire does not burn gold. The wanted thing is not burnt by fire. No. Don't be afraid of the fire if, if, if you are something that is wanted. Uh, so understand the dynamics at the gate. At the gate, do more prayer than talking. You can be at the gate and be discussing the drama at the gate. <laughs> Let's talk more prayer. In this season, it is criminal, spiritually, not to wake up and pray at midnight. Okay. When a striker, they pass the ball to him, he's near the gate. Hello? And he misses. They say to him, wake up. May you wake up at the gate. When I woke up this morning, the Holy Ghost said to me, be vigilant. You are at the gate and don't be emotional. Emotions can steal your opportunity right at the gate. And then you go back and you say, but now that was 
may you not emotionally move out of the gate. So the time you're supposed to increase in prayer, the devil makes you emotional. I'm not saying things will not happen that will make you emotional. They will happen because you are at the gate. But grab a hold of your emotions. I bring my body under subjection. I'm not controlled by emotions. I control the emotions. I tell the emotions, not this season. Wrong season, not now. I'm too close to the breakthrough. So instead of being emotional, I become a firebrand. Say, I'm a firebrand. Say, I'm a firebrand. He says, but I discipline my body. First uh, Corinthians 9, 27. Thank you, Dumi. I bring my body under subjection. Uh, lest when I have preached to others, uh, I myself should become disqualified. So if you're emotional, you become disqualified at the gate. Did you get that? Did you get that? Stop worshipping your emotions. Especially at the gate. The devil is the master of emotions. So when you are emotional, you are in his mastery zone. You, there's no one who can play with emotions more than the devil. Are you listening to me? I'm coaching you spiritually. May you be aware. I said may you be aware. Uh, may, may, may your eyes be open. Uh, uh, stretch your hands. May your spiritual senses... May you be sensitive at the gate. May the devil not desensitize your sensitivity at the gate. May your spiritual senses be aware. May you open your eyes. May you have the ability to come out of the situation and look spiritually and say, no, this is what, not so rare to Sometimes, you see, if, you, if your head is too close to the game, you can't see my moves. Sometimes you need to lean back. And you see more clearly. I don't know if I'm helping anyone. Hallelujah. Lift up your right hand. At the gate, the enemy will try and manipulate you. We are going to release fire. Number one, on any demonic manipulation. Lift up your right hand. Say, Holy Ghost, as I pray right now, I release fire at the gates. Any spiritual, satanic manipulation, even if I'm not seeing it, I release fire. I release fire. Open your mouth, release the fire. Fire, fire against any form of manipulation. You will not be manipulated at the gates. 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 Listen, what is manipulation at the gate? Are you here? You are right there at the gate. The gatekeeper has been told to come and get you at the gate. Picture this. You are at the gate. Gatekeeper has received an instruction to come and get you at the gate by the king. What is manipulation? Someone at the gate holds your hand and says, And they start to talk to you about something that has got nothing to do with your destiny. Watch this. And then the gatekeeper comes to look for you eh, at the gate. So you've been manipulated away from your position. Say any manipulation at the gate of destiny. As I pray now in the Holy Ghost, clapping my hands, I release fire on the manipulation. Fire! On the manipulation, release the fire. 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 Hallelujah. The Lord said to me something profound, and I'll share it with you as usual. He said, every day, these ember months, you must declare and decree that fire must go before me. 
If fire goes before you, it burns manipulation. If fire goes before you, it burns obstacles. If fire goes before you, it burns resistance. If fire goes before you, it burns witchcraft. So we are releasing fire ahead of us. Today is Friday. Hallelujah. And it must be a good Friday. Why? We are releasing fire to go ahead of us. Deuteronomy 9 verse 3. Therefore understand today, this Friday, that the Lord your God is he who goes before you as a consuming fire. Say, Lord, go ahead of me as a consuming fire. Remember, good is not consumed. Good is purified by fire. What is consumed is the evil. What is not the will of God? May it be consumed at the gate. I, I, we, we turn up the temperature. Say, Holy Ghost, we release fire at the gate. Any evil at the gate. We unleash the fire of God. Open your mouth and pray, clap in your hands. Fire goes before me. Fire goes before me. Fire goes before me. He says he will go before you as a consuming fire. He will destroy them. Who are them? Them fighting your destiny. And bring them down before you. And then he says he will, he will destroy them and consume them quickly. There are enemies who we, are, we don't want to destroy the time. No, no, no. The agenda is too urgent. The agenda. Uh, I don't know if you're here. The agenda is too urgent. We are not waiting for Maracha Zita. No, Maracha Zita is nice. Yes, nice. Yes, nice. Say consuming fire. Holy Ghost, I release you to my gates of destiny. Consume every enemy. Consume every resistance. Consume every foe. Consume every wizard. Consume every obstacle. Holy Ghost fire. Consume it all. Whatever is working against me at the gate. Holy Ghost fire. Consume it now. Release the fire. Release the fire. We release the fire. You'll be surprised. Release the fire. Release the fire. We release the fire. Release the fire. Release the fire. We release the fire. We unleash the fire. We unleash the fire. Listen, let me help you. If you don't fight at the gate, oh, this is a powerful caption. If you don't fight at the gate, you'll be frustrated at the gate. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That's powerful. If you don't fight at the gate, you'll be frustrated at the gate. And you can't do both. Listen, whoever will keep standing around you after this ember months, they are, they are pure. They are okay. Whatever must be shaken will be shaken. And nothing shakes like fire. Say we release fire at the gates of destiny. Friendly enemies go up in flames. Release the fire. Release the fire. Release the fire. We are not taking chances. We are not taking chances. Release the fire. Listen. This that I'm doing. It's called judgment. So when it is judgment time, God releases fire. Before he released water, now he releases fire. So the fire will just go and spiritually interrogate anyone who is around your life. I hope you are getting this. Because sometimes you can trust people who are evil and not know 
So all you do is say, Holy Spirit, I don't know everything, but you know everything. Please purify my environment. Anyone evil, the Holy Ghost will deal with them. Sometimes you suspect someone who's not evil. So if they keep standing after this, you, 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 you also have to say, you know, I was wrong. The worst enemies are those close to you. Those are the worst enemies. Because they are the ones you least, you least suspect. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? There are bosses who are not really bosses. They are virtue drawers. So you could like your boss because he pays you a salary. But he's drawing your what? Your virtue. We are going to pray. Anyone doing evil manipulation around you, they are affecting you at the gate. So we just release the fire. And we say, Holy Ghost, search! Listen, you could be at the gate. Hello? And like Gladmore here, you gave money to someone. I'm saying prophetically. You gave some money to someone some time ago, which they are still using against you today. So it affects you getting your, into your money gate. Because that person is manipulating somewhere. Ne five dollars ya wakampa two years ago. So, since you might not know what's happening, all you do is you release what? Yes. And you say, Holy Ghost, I trust you. Ah, I release you as fire. Go before me. Go before me. Burn every witchcraft manipulation. Say, Holy Ghost, fire. Go ahead of me. Burn witchcraft manipulation. Open your mouth and pray. Release fire. Release fire. Let's release fire. Pray. Come on. Something is happening. Release the fire. Hallelujah. When you are praying, you choose how you want your God to descend. Exodus 19 verse 18. So you can, you can ask him to come as the God of love. If you call it the God of love to come, he will come and hug your enemies. Now, Mount Sinai was completely in smoke. Why? Because the Lord descended upon it in fire. So you choose how you want God to come down. So this is Ember Mans. We are not calling on the God of love. No, we are calling on the God who would descend as fire. Lift up your right hand. We're inviting fire. Say, Holy Ghost fire. Come down into my life, into my home, into my business, into my career. Holy Ghost fire. Burn. Burn. Evil powers. Release power. Release fire. Release fire. He must come down as fire. Come down as fire. Come down as fire. Hallelujah. Psalm 97 verse 3. Let me let the scriptures minister. He says, a fire goes before him and burns up his enemies round about the gate. Stretch your hand. Say, fire of God. Go ahead of me. Burn enemies around me, around my gates of destiny. Burn them. I need to get into the gate. Any enemy standing as an obstacle, according to Psalm 97, verse number 3, burn Holy Ghost. Any spiritual enemies, burn Holy Ghost. Release the fire. Release the fire. Release the fire. The Holy Ghost fire must burn, 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 burn. 
Very important scriptures. Andoloba, Iradia, Anadaya, Iratua, Adoboya, Adiatua, Alandere. Hallelujah. Exodus 24, verse 17. Is somebody in the house? He says, this, The sight of the glory of the Lord was like a consuming fire on the top of the mountain prayer shift. The glory of the Lord must come down as a what? consuming fire. Now, the glory of the Lord can come as finances. It can come as finances. Hello? But we need to release the glory as a fire. You have not done this before. You have not released fire at the gate. So that's why you've been frustrated at the gates. We are going to release the glory of God the fire of God to come down as a consuming what? Fire. What is chemotherapy? It is basically a fire that is put into your body to look for cancer and burn it. Are you here? Are you here? So we are going to release the fire of the Holy Spirit to target any sickness in your life. There's somebody who's watching online. You, you have got a, a lamp in your breast. By the end of this service, that breast will dissolve. Because when fire comes, it dissolves the powers of wickedness. Sicknesses and diseases will be dissolved. Say, Holy Ghost, enter my body. Burn every sickness. Burn every impurity. Holy Ghost, fire. Burn it. Listen, don't trust tablets more than you trust fire. Ah. If you trust tablets, you'll be popping pills every day. Why pop pills when I can pop the Holy Ghost? Shola Tamahaya. And say, Holy Spirit, like, ah, yeah, like chemotherapy, search where the cancer is. Search where the fibroids are. Listen to me. We are going to attack every sickness in your body. Why? Sicknesses now, they come up when you're at the gate. Can I up do that? Your head starts. Right now, I've got a headache. Right now, me. I've got a headache. Hello? So, you start to have headaches. You say, Why? You are at the what? At the gate. There are what are called sicknesses at the gate. We are going to release fire upon every sickness. At the gate. Baba, don't fold your hands. Don't fold your hands. You block the spirit. You understand? You block the spirit. Hallelujah. Say, Holy Ghost. Stretch your hands. Say, Holy Ghost. I release you into my body. Search every sickness in my body. Burn it. Burn it. Burn it. Burn it. Burn it. Burn it. Any demonic headache. Burn it. Burn it, Holy Ghost. I am at the gate. Burn it, Holy Ghost. Open your mouth and pray. Come on, pray. Yes. Yes. Very important prayer. Burn it, burn, 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 burn. Burn it, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. There are different angels. Second Thessalonians 1 verse 7. There are different angels. They are ministering angels. These are, I call them hugging angels. They just come. Because they are Christians who just want a hug. You know, I just <laughs> keep the hug. Bring the fire. <laughs> and, and to give you who are troubled rest with us when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty fire angels. The original translation says his mighty fire angels angels. So there are fire angels. We are going to release fire angels at the gates of destiny. See? I'm not making it up. Do you see it there? Say fire angels. Uh, you have not called those ones. Do you know fire angels? Remember the garden of, of Eden. 
There were angels with blazing swords. Those are the ones you need in the ember mines. Not this Hail Mary. You have been highly favored angels. The messenger angels. Right now I don't need the message. I need fire angels. If you want to know about, about powerful teachings from apostle and angels, ask Gogojas. There's a message she plays every day on angels. And do tell me my angels. Can I my angels? Oh yeah, man. Those are among my prayers. <laughs> but of the angels, there's a department of fire angels. We are going to invoke fire angels. Where? Onto the gate. Okay, look at that scripture from the top. He says, and to give relief to you who are distressed. So if you don't bring in fire angels, blessing come here. If you don't bring in fire angels, you continue to be distressed. So there are things distressing you. Invoke fire angels. Someone does not want to sign your documents. What do we do? We send to the ministry of finance fire angels. Ano pisko shuka saina. Fire puts pressure. Pressure. <laughs> we are going to put pressure on your destiny, help us. Say fire. Say fire. Say fire. Lift up your right hand. We are going to invoke those. Are you learning? Say Holy Ghost. Release fire angels released by Jesus from heaven. Mighty fire angels. I release them now at the gates of destiny. You angels of fire, fight for me. Open your mouth and pray. Fight for me. Fight for me. Fire angels, fight for me. Not just general angels. Fire angels, fight for me. Pray. Hallelujah. Number 16, verse 35. When God releases these fire angels, or when he releases fire, it must consume your enemies. And the fire came out from the Lord and consumed 250 witches. How many? How many? So they, your enemies can be many. But the fire of the Holy Ghost will burn all witches. You sound like this one is not into... Can I move on to the next scripture? Okay, lift up your right hand. Say, Holy Spirit, release your fire at the gate. Burn! 250 of the witches assigned against my destiny. Burn! Spirit husband. Burn! Demonic resistance. Burn! Son Balat and Tobias. Burn! 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 Adonijah. Burn! Open your mouth and pray. Holy Ghost fire is warfare. We are fighting. Yes. Hallelujah. It's not evil to call down fire. Second Kings chapter number one from verse number 10 to 12. Paraphrasing. He says, if I be, if I am a man of God, let what? Fire. Not a wizard. A man of God. Let fire fall down from heaven. And he came and consumed. It was only 50 this time, unfortunately. Let fire do what? So the fire is not for sure. It's to consume witchcraft. Listen, don't try and explain what, what witchcraft has been doing in your life. Just call fire down. Just call fire down. Just call fire down. Hallelujah. I was so excited, I mean, when your brother sent me that testimony. 